Hasselback is one of those heroes that he can Ten be very remaining. annoying, but he's bad when he's behind. Like, very bad, because he just becomes Five a liability and you never remaining. get enough quill sprays off to really deal that significant amount of damage. And plus, teams started picking better mobility Reserve heroes, time. like things that you can just kite him with. Like, for example, if you're EG, you have Storm, who's great. You can Gale, simply walk away from him, put him to sleep, lasso, or, you know, just sticky him and just kite him around. That's one of the weakness we or weaknesses that he has as a hero. And honestly, it, Dota is such a trendy game that whenever people start picking new stuff, some people will literally just forget about a hero and just be like, oh yeah, we never, we just don't pick it. You know, there's no real good reason behind it. It's just falling off. Okay. Yeah. Storm Spirit. He's yeah. going to safe lane? I love Storm. Storm this is, is Arteezy Storm, no question about it. Is yeah, it? it's an exceptionally good hero. The one thing that I'm kind of concerned about actually is I would say between the two, Cloud9 have the better draft right now just in terms of flexibility. Uh, EG is going to rely pretty heavily on their initiation. Granted, they have two good heroes for it, Batrider and Storm. I just don't like those types of lineups against Ten heroes like Shadowfiend and Naga, who are going to at some point be ridiculously tanky. And not only that, but you're putting your Storm Radiant and your Batrider in a position where they have to play like stellar, right? Pick. Like they have to play very well in order for the fights to go your way. So I'm, I'm kind of apprehensive about EG's lineup this game, but we were last game too, yeah. and it ended up working out very well for them. Well, you so. guys were. I, I was like, I saw this before. No, okay. It's been done. <laughs> did I was just like, he's like last no, week's I, not you, together? No, you did say that yeah. you'd seen it before, yeah. but you didn't say with confidence oh, come on. that EG were going to be Everything like... Everything I say is with confidence. All right. Cloud9's going to win this game. Radiant Easy. Whoa. All right. There you go. We could be looking Support at... The, I hope MV's not playing Volker, though. I'm just saying. Say that with confidence, too. <laughs> like, so out of the five heroes... If he plays Naga, you lose, and you don't want him playing Invoker. He plays CM, and we okay. win. CM. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, Naga's not support in this game, I guess. So that... Wow. The hmm. Slark? Is I like a... that. It's a fear Slark. It yes, is. it is. All right. Oh, my God. MV Invoker. Here we go, guys. <laughs> it's a show. But it's he hasn't be played show. the hero a hundred times in a row. How is he going to play Invoker? I don't know. Actually, he's played a lot of Invoker. Like a lot, Yeah, we were lot. just talking. He's like, have you seen my Invoker lady? I'm like, no. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> maybe maybe we're going to see it now. because Prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself. <laughs> it's God tier. So it is a support Naga, which likely means that uh, it's going to be safe lane farming, I guess, Shadow Fiend. And then they're going to put the Invoker versus the Storm mid. And I would say, honestly, Invoker gets the advantage there. You know, not really too much of a shock. Invoker has much better range. You can mm -hmm. go Quas Wex, I think, and still win fairly easily. Just Cold Snap Spam whenever he goes up to the wave to try to use Remnants for CS, which most Storms will have to do. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I still like uh, Cloud9's draft. Prepare for battle. Like, much better, honestly. With that, and you say that with confidence. With confidence. I All like right. their draft better. Okay. Is it because there's a Slark on EG? Listen, I like Slark. I think Slark is good. I just consider people who pick Slark as, like... Monsters. Yeah. They're, they're a certain kind of people, you know so what I mean? So it's fair like as in type of the people? Or? Like, I've picked Slark before, and I know the state of mind that I was in when I picked that hero, and it wasn't good. So after like losing like six games in a row with Pyrian, he's like, shit, we need to win this game. It's the last game of the night, I pick Slark, and we lose. But that's the kind of hero you go to. He's the character yeah. you're like, okay, we need to win the game. He's a game winner, man. Like, BKB is a game losing item, Slark is a, a game winning hero. <sighs> All right. Thanks. But you say Sigma pick Slark, Thanks. and they haven't won. Sorry, I was giving Bruno the stink eye. But. I'm sorry, say that again, because I, I totally was just pissed off at Bruno. It's okay. It's, it has okay. nothing to do with this game. Okay. Okay. Do you think when you put Invoker mid, it puts pressure on your supports to get the runes? Well, I think Invoker is a hero who is pretty... Like, he doesn't rely on runes, right? Like, he can just yeah, but sit mid the and do his Yeah, the storm does, but depending on how the lanes work out, then yes, you'll have one rune guarded most of the time. Like, if both lanes meet the each other, begins. then the runes are more or less free-for-all, because if you have, like, a tri-lane versus tri-lane, for example, and both teams are facing each other in those lanes, then the 1v1 heroes are never going to leave the lane for a rune, because they can't really afford the experience. So the mids are pretty much going to be the only ones moving around the map at that point. So it depends on uh, where the lanes end up. And it looks like right now uh, it's going to be Cloud9 running a safe lane invoker instead and putting the SF mid, which is a little bit strange. And he is going to have a tough time because, yeah. first of all, it's a dual lane mid, but there is also PP and Viz on Venno. I just want to point out that, oh, man, with the Shadow le level, first. Raise, level 1 raise, I actually saw this RTG do this, uh, getting level 1 
quite early just to make sure that you just get the first crit wave. Sure, you don't get the Necro Mastery damage bonus, but right now he's doing oh, a lot man. better than what he would have done if he did not have to raise this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Enfeeble is one of those things where Shadow Fiend's base damage is not great anyway. It's just yeah. 12. He was hitting RTZ for almost negative damage. Denied. We saw a top to bat rider was dropping pretty low there, but even still, 4 CS right now for Sing. And the Enfeeble is going to be wearing off very soon. And the Bane has long since made his leave for middle. And the bottle's already on Sing. So I don't think it's going to hurt him too much, honestly. Yeah, it's a build that you start with two GU branches and then you basically bottle crow. Speaking of uh, getting greedy builds, if you look at Envy, he started with no items. <laughs> he got pulled one tango. What and a man. Like, I'm going for a Midas rush, guys. He's letting everyone know. Not, like, not just his team, but the opponents as well. Is pretty awkward, to be honest. I, I mean, mean, he's last hitting with 38 base damage. You know, you can do it. You can do it, man. I mean, if, if you're capable of doing it, I can see no problem with it necessarily. So, it's something. It's something that I haven't seen a lot. Typically, when I see that in a pub game and somebody's on my team, I just feel like they're going to go to the side shop and buy a ring of health, and then yeah, I'm just yeah. going to be really yeah. sad. I used to do that in every single pub game in Dota 1. Uh, it's like you run them, and then you wait at the side shop for your ring of health. That's what you do. It's like the worst feeling in the world. You just get that sinking feeling in your gut, and you just say, <laughs> God, please don't do it. And it happens every time, man. You, you can't escape it. And we were talking about rune guarding earlier. Looks like Pilei Dai is going to secure that regen for Sing. So he's going to be quite happy about that. Doesn't have to bottle crow, at least for a second time this early on. And you can see that Arteezy is still winning uh, very slightly in terms of overall CS, but we know how good of a flash farmer SF can be. And he's already got two points into his raise. Pilei Dai and Aoi are both sitting oh, mid. They could okay. potentially go for Arteezy. He's going to eat a net here. I'm really surprised he actually got Ooh. that close. It's going to be a double raise, first kill secure sword. for Sing. Give him the first blood, James. He's pretty happy about that. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know why he would... They out. had a high ground ward. Yep. Like, why... I don't know. Why? <laughs> That's it, a it wasn't a smoke gank. They kind of just walked up. It was a up. casual walk up. Yeah. Maybe you underestimated how far the yeah. net range was. E even the best of us makes mistakes, so, you know. Part one for RTZ. Now, RTZ Radiant's doesn't have TP. Did he cancel attack. his TP? I think he did. What a disaster. Oh Maybe he didn't shift Q. Yeah, when he got I don't to the think tower. he did. Yo, Arthur's I've done that before, actually. On tilt right now, giving up first blood and then. It ain't great. It ain't great. And he's supposed to be the one who's going to make the majority of the room for his team. I mean, Universe will obviously have uh, a relatively quick blink because he's jungling more or less unobstructed. There is no hero who can really stop him right now because Bone 7 is against... Well, there's no one top for EG, so you know that there's a heck of a lot of heroes inside of the woods, which means that there's not going to be anyone touching him. So. And for Envy, he's got a uh, Midas recipe coming in, not even four minutes. So we're going to see a very, very quick Midas. Envy, get those last hits. All right. All right. He's doing it, man. Yeah, man. You gotta say, he started with 38 base damage. Pretty impressive. He's going Exort, though, which is a little bit surprising. I think, honestly, Quas Wex is really good against EG's lineup. It's just like EMP is sick against Slark and uh, Bane as well. Also, Storm, because of the fact that, I mean, that the heroes all have pretty high mana cost, even if they're int. Heck, it's, it's good against everyone, really, yeah. on the team of uh, EG right now. So, a bit shocked to see him not go that. Yeah. Uh, he did do a Sun Strike on the mid lane to secure that kill, although his strike actually didn't do any damage. But in any case, yeah, it's a very interesting build. We'll see whether it pans out or not. Uh, Universe checking out this Blink Dagger. Got 800 go. And Tranquil Boots. Yep. I'm surprised he actually finished the boots. Yeah, that's what I was thinking Typically, well. people just get like one Tango or something like that, and then you can just stack two camps and kill them. You pretty much don't take damage most of the time. He seems to have taken a lot of damage. He's just... Lives life on the edge, man. <laughs> this goes ham. Danger creeping. So this is a fairly good move, by, in my opinion, Boom, for Nine. They allow Sing Sing now to go back to the jungle, gave CM the mid lane. They're not pressuring the uh, Storm Cert as a result by as much, but allows the Shadow Fiend to farm safely, and more importantly, gives Crystal Maiden some decent levels. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. I think... Is Sing actually going Midas too? It, it looks like it. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, no. He's not actually going to go minus two, but I actually think he is. So in terms of going completely greedy against a Stormster and a Slark, not two hero exactly that can scale out late. It seems like if nothing happens for a long time, Cloud9's going to have this game 
almost as an auto want. Yeah, I would I would kind of agree with that because once BKBs start coming out, especially on the SF, that's that's the main thing. Like if Sing gets a BKB, then who really on the side of EG is going to be able oh. to kill him? It's just not. That Tamao slapped him pretty hard. It's not great. Yeah, he's he's doing some high risk jungling. I've done this before. <laughs> he's a professional player. It's man. not his first rodeo. No, it's definitely not. Yeah. He's got that Midas. Video. All right, Double so Midas gaming. Six minute Midas, and they what like three minute and a half or three and a half minute Midas. Yeah, C9 were the guys that used to always get like everyone get a Midas, like four Midases, five Midases. Like we used to get it quite a lot as well on yeah. CM. Man, Cloud9 going back to the roots said we want MLG with this. No scope with those Midas. Radiant's top tower Let's go back under to it. attack. Well, I think the Midas, since they're so early, like Arteezy's gonna have a little bit of time before he's gonna start ganking because he's only got one in pull right now, which means that at the very least he wants to get two more in Vortex just so his remnants Dyer's actually land. Because we've seen honestly attack. how ridiculous range Vortex can be sometimes. Yes. And you don't actually get your remnant mm. proc off of it. So I don't think he's going to be Dyer's moving around too much, at least right now. Attack. What do you think of this skill build? What, the, his skill build? Yeah. It's just to make sure that you can reliably get last hits in mid if somebody's trying to contest your farm. Because if you go max remnant, then you have to walk up to the creep wave every single time. But sometimes you can just drop a remnant and use the overload bonus damage to get last hits anyway. If you're against a hero who's going to harass you a lot, like maybe an SF. Because if you walk to the wave, you potentially can get double raised. And that means you're taking a ton of damage every single time Dead. you do it. Yeah, in terms of a gank, it just makes sure, you just have to be much more precise with your initial jump. It looks like we might see a little bit of action in the middle here, a frostbite, but that's going to force out a jump from Arteezy, and that's it. Yeah, you have to be much more pre precise with the jump, landing on top of the hero, pull, remnant, and then right click. And with each overload adding so much damage, you can actually pick off some squishy supports like Crystal Maiden by multiple jumps and just overload attacks. I've seen yeah. that happen many times as well. Which likely means he's going to be going into the, uh, the very quick treads. And then he'll probably go Orchid. I, well, yeah, I think he kind of has to go Orchid this game. My question is, does he Orchid the uh, the Invoker? Or does he Orchid the Naga Siren? Because if you do one, then the other is just going to do really yeah. bad things to you, and yeah. it's not going to go well. Maybe he'll just hope that uh, him and Universe can coordinate some kind of initiation where they go on both targets simultaneously. That way they can ensure they can lock at least one down and kill the other. Right now, nothing has really happened for the past eight minutes or so, and uh, it's a very healthy gold lead for C9. Like, just off farming alone, they're up by a, a thousand gold, and I think that's mostly off excellent jungle by Sing Sing, the, t the double hand of Midas's, and uh, the Crystal Maiden's getting in there in, in some farm as well, so... Of course, Aoi is, uh, you know, he always farms when he can. He's like always second highest net worth, even if he's playing on like a, a support. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. PPD's gonna spot out Sing in the woods, but no one else really nearby. Aww. This is just some reconnaissance mission that he's got going on here. He's just like, yep, found the shadow face. Hey, he's taking, taking some experience. experience. Yeah. Is he gonna go snipe the career? No, he uh, can't do that. Nah, Sing my was boss. really next level. Look how slow it is. He would have noticed the experience being uh -oh. sapped. This yeah, they're coming, though. Yeah, yeah. Blink Dagger is online. Sing Sing be dead. Target acquired. <laughs> not so happy. Well, oh, well, didn't bring him up to the high ground. Ultimate. He's gonna go for a Requiem, but gets cancelled by the Flame Break. Throws out one raise and didn't, you didn't get turns into a bunch of spirits, or souls, what have you. I, mean, it's, I guess it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, they're the same. Mid lane here, Sing Sing, it's, or not sorry, Arteezy going for Bone 7, and Zip oh, is gonna be right there to overload, up. doing a ton of right click damage. Arteezy thinks better of it. Oh, I Can he go? You're gonna re-engage? He has 11 charge wand, it's pretty dangerous to go on. Oh, yeah. what I miss! Uh, another position where I would've went. And probably failed horribly. Hey man, sometimes you gotta go for the goose, you know? Go for the, the heavy goose. goose. Yeah, you know what's up. I do. I, I mean, I, middle tower I play so attack. aggressive oh, sometimes. Top lane in snare yeah. into a sun strike. PPD's gonna take a ton of right click damage. Cold snaps. Gonna seal the deal. Envy being involved Dyer's that kill. He's got 2,500 gold. Is, is this like Radiant's the Merlini Midas into bot skink? Maybe he's going for the Radiant. That would be snap. like the epitome of greed. Oh, he got the medallion. They're gonna go early Roche, I guess. And you know, if you just right clicking with Exhort Invoker Cold Snap Medallion, that hurts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially since they nerfed the um, the Forge Spirits minus armor that used to apply up to like minus ten. Mm -hmm. I think they nerfed it up to what minus six or something like that is what it caps out at. But if you get a medallion on top of it, it still hurts quite a lot. And you have Riptide and SF or okay, as well. Yeah. I it's would not pain, guess. Man. I, I would not guess Midas into into Medallion. You know, it's attack. like something different. Well, it's actually been seen before. It's oh, really? not like totally out of the question, but it is unusual. Okay. I just imagine when you have a safely invoker, you're going for bigger and better items. 
medallions, one of those, you know. Well, what would you have liked to have seen then? I mean, if if this was Dendi, he would have gone blink. Or if you're Merlini, you would have got bots. If this is you, though, you would have got bots and then drums, and then agonims. I think. Yeah. I, I think I would have gone for something like Yules to, to get that Sunstrike combo going. I'm a fan of the Yules as well. But uh, I go Yules whenever I can, so I don't know if that's a... You're one of those guys, huh? Yeah. The thing is, he's not going the Max XR build, he's going Forge Spirits. So yep. when you go Yules, you typically Dyer's have like lower costs, and then you just go for Max Low XR. Yule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when you go for the Sunstrike. And you even put a point into Wex because you want Meteor as well. Yeah. So if you're fear here, you have 2600 gold. If he buys a Shadow Blade, I'm gonna be mad. It's looking like it. Well, I think this is a very different type of game, like the one that um, TC bought the Shadow Blade, because you knew Alliance was gonna Blade. group up, right? I don't think Cloud Nine's looking to group up anytime soon. They don't have a good like five-man push. I, I figure Cloud Nine's one of those teams that gets greedy and farm all over the map, you know, as as apparent by the double sh Midas is. I think this Shadow Blade could do a lot more than the one that TC got. Oh, potentially going to see a hook shot on the universe. Sunstrike coming in as well. Envy gets the kill. Sing Sing in mid as well. Yeah, going to find a pick. He took a bit of damage, but he's fine. This is fine. It's all fine. It's actually not looking too good for EG. No. Cloud9 just flat out out farming them. It's all about when uh, when Fear comes online and see what he can do. Honestly, I would have just like rushed to BKB if I was Slark in this game because you have two great initiators, right? You have a Blink Bat Rider, already has the Blink. Okay. And then you have a Storm. So you have the team who can initiate for you already, and then all you have to do is make sure that you're not going to get like stuck in cogs, or you're not going to get frozen or exploded by an Exert Invoker. Now granted, Envy still does a decent amount of right-click damage, but you can at least take some hits, and then use your ultimate with BKB to make sure that you're just invincible during that time, right? Because you can't get raised, because you get BKB on, can't get it by Meteors, whatever. So, I just think that he needs the capability of being in the middle of the fight. I don't know if going for an item that's going to be reliant on the other team not five-manning them mm -hmm. is a good plan. Because with a medallion and the Forge Spirits, you're going to push. Like, that's what the build's for. And you're going to take Roshan quite early. I'm just a little bit skeptical of this item choice. I yeah, know. normally I actually dislike Shadow Blade on Slark quite a bit. And I'm with the BKP plan. The only thing that I'm a little, a little afraid of is all the minus armor you were talking about. The Force yeah. Spirit, the Medallion, which I don't think you could Medallion somebody that's BKB, or can you? You can. You can. You can, okay. Yeah. And then you have the Aura, the Riptide, so I feel that he has to rely on Stealth a lot more to actually get things done. Okay. And that tends to Shadow Blade, but the problem is detection is around, uh, you know, you have to really rely on Ultimate. I really don't know. I feel like he's really stuck in a rock and hard place. It, does, yeah. it feels like it doesn't matter what he gets. There's just so much of a quote-unquote counter from C9 that it's hard for him to get the right item. What about an Orchid? An Orchid Russian Swark? I well, think he needs something defensive. I don't. Think yeah, it would make... The point that I'm making, at least, is that Dyer's he's very squishy under with this item choice. And BKB would help that at least a little bit. Slark's base armor is actually pretty low for an agility hero. He's only got four at level 9, and that's with Agility Treads on, and no. we're going to see a net on RTZ. Uh -oh. He's going to ball away, but mana. completely runs out. Yeah, Sing, he's going for the raises, pops the haste, double raise, going to connect, will get the kill, Nightmare coming out, but no other hero actually coming in. Nightmare gets broken by Owie. The swap a doodle Yeah, the Nightmare bounce, but yeah, I just think that he needs to be bulky, tanky, you know, be able to take a hit or two, because when he goes in, he's just going to explode. Like yeah. to any damage. He has 800 Radiant's health. Tower he can under tread. <laughs> I mean, Get that 180 life. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. And I think here where is a group up push is going to happen. Uh, tier 1 tower up top. Not much I easy could do about it. When you have a hero like Storm Spirit as well as Slark, they're more of the do stuff here, right? You need to do a lot in early game, whether it's winning your lanes, getting kills, and just kind of snowball off of that. So far, we, we've seen C9 kind of slowly and dominating attack. this game. We're going to see Envy actually force the TP away. There's going to be a song pop just to ensure that Radiant's Envy can bottom tower not is die. Under and he's actually going to be teleporting to the Roshan pit. Here comes the ball in from Arjun. We're going for Sing. Sing does not hit a BKB. Do you see a lasso on Pylai die as well? They know the song was already used. They're going to turn it around with a nice couple of raises. And there's going to be traded kills so far, one for one. Now Pylai die quite low as well. You're going to see Zai die inside of the cogs. Bone 7 dealing close. decent damage. With the and so. and PPD is going to be able to teleport out of here, looks like. Oh, Poison Sting does oh, not do fatal damage, so he should be fine. I mean, and Envy and gets Envy, a Sunstrike, Sunstrike. You gotta keep in mind that was a 4v5 with Envy doing Roshan at the meanwhile. 
so <laughs> yeah, worth it. Worth yeah, it, yeah. Completely worth it. Poison Sting does do fatal damage. Does it? Yeah, yeah it does. That's yeah, it's the ulti that doesn't do fatal Yeah, nobody doesn't do lethal damage. Okay. It always confused me because some of the spells do and some of the spell does not. The only yeah, one that Gale and Sting Roshan are both lethal, okay. but nobody does not. Alright, so Roshan comes up here for C9. Aegis, well that's a solo Roshan as well, so Envy getting a ton of that All that exp. Level 13, man. 14 minutes No in. levels in Quas, or no levels in Wex even. Well, it's pretty standard to go for, um, and then if you completely skip it because you don't have the he's, high levels of invoke. He's gonna find a courier, aren't he? Oh no, he's gonna go on the mid lane to Sunstrike the coast oh, oh my god! Boom. I must have Bomb. stepped off. Yeah, that was pain, actually. That was just straight up, uh, straight up pain. Middle tower and they're gonna be able attack. to turn this into a quick tier one in the middle lane. They even should be able to defend top, honestly. They have Glyph, and PPD is the only one up here, really. Fear's kind of looking for fortified. kills with his Shadow Blade, but he's not gonna Radiance find anything. This is the problem attack. with playing Slark and going Shadow Blade against a team that's, for the majority of the game, just gonna be playing as five. Like, yep. what, what does he do? I mean, Slark forced Envy to TP out. And they thought, you know, oh, it's Dyer's a 5v4 now. They can't take attack. a 5v4 and then we went to Roshan, so... Whatever that could go wrong, gone wrong for... There's a fish in our jungle! No fear. Eyeing up Sing here, looks like he wants to try to go for it, gets a Shadow Blade hit, there's the pounce. Sing is actually going to go down here pretty easily, Envy is nearby, but he's not going to be able to help out, so... Fear does Dyer's find the solo kill. Is under attack. With flare. Pretty huge. Yeah. I think maybe his game plan is Dyer's every single time Cloud9 backs up and they want to try to like effectively farm the map for a little while. Wow, sounds like MPPD as well, taking a huge amount of damage here in the river. But every time they split and they decide to go back to farm the woods, that's when Fear is going to find his time to shine. Dyer's yeah, again, Cloud9 does not attack. play the Alliance we group up style. Cloud9 likes to be greedy. They like to farm the jungle, farm the enemy jungle, in fact. So. I think, I think Fear is going to find a couple of chances. Oh, cold snap, on Zai. Here comes the hookshot. He lands on two. Fear going to be forced to pounce away the flame break. Knocks Zai into the trees. He was actually stuck. Gets pulled in by Arteezy, who's not really that much matter right now. Might be forced to ball away with the rest of it. Going to see a Nova as well on Universe. The net. Here comes the net. Ooh, nice blink away. That Naga cast animation. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but Arteezy, by the way, or sorry, Envy, by the way, went for Necro Book, so he just wants to knock down power and push much, much Radiant's quicker. That damage when he used the medallion, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it hurts a lot. Yeah. Bottom tower this is actually is a quite a refreshing attack. play style, as we see uh, Envy's gonna get right hooked up by Fear. Oh, I mean, I oh no. no, Pi! Radiant's top tower is under okay. attack. I don't know if... Well, actually, that's a max extra. Yeah, yeah, that would have killed him. That would have killed him. Yeah, that would have killed him straight away. Here comes one raise. Will connect. Going for the second. The flame break actually stops it. Going to see a frostbite and ulti coming out from Aoi. They're going for the backrider as well. He's going to use the lasso on Aoi. Here comes the brain sap. Coming out from Zai. Almost killed him, but not quite yet. Envy low as well. Going to get the Aegis pop. Now Arteezy running out with the haste rune. Universe will eventually get the kill on Aoi. Going seven. Now on retreat. Arteezy still has a D Decent amount of mana. Another Sun Strike kill coming out for Envy. Highlight oh, nice. Nice. trying to run away. Oh, Arteezy just going nice. all in for this kill. He will be able to haste away though. PPD is going to get eaten alive oh. by the damage. Beautiful. And Sing, he's, he's going to miss the raid. Denied, denied, denied. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Allied hero gets denied. Well, I'm going to say Envy's playing well. What a hectic fight, man. Pretty nuts. Like, there is just three different fights happening simultaneously. Yeah, but the sun strikes have been spot on. Yeah. Do you think you would have died, the Slark? Oh, yeah, he had yeah, 473 he HP and sun strikes 475 pure. Yeah. yeah. He would have died by two health. Life. To despair. The team fight did not go well for Cloud9, but they did win it quite handily. The Necro Book's being upgraded. Sing Sing is going to finish this BKB. In fact, he has it. Thank goodness, because he is having a real yeah. hard time with yeah. that Slark. And, uh, I mean, Slark's still gonna right-click you, and that's that's nice and all, but the effectiveness of the Slark, he's gonna go on Pilot Dive. He is a little bit of trouble. Immediate TP coming from Claw for Can he get there in time? No, Arteezy's gonna clean him right now. The Blame Nail, he's gonna go for the Arteezy kill. Arteezy zips out. Oh, the grip comes through. The Sun Strike! Oh, no. Arteezy dodges it. Nicely done. EG getting back into it a little bit. Oh, they're gonna see Here a comes Universe. Yeah, Aoi's in a position where they have to go for him, but they want to go for Envy instead. Here comes the lasso. Universe just getting destroyed by Necro Books and the, the four shares. And Envy is still alive. He gets a triple, takes out almost the entirety of EG. He's got he wants to go for more. They're just chasing what? him down with them. Oh my god. Oh man. Them babies. <laughs> that damage output.
That's insane. He actually got all three kills before he died as well. Yeah. So he got Radiant experience for every single one of those. He's level 16 attack. and 19 minutes into the game. Insane. Radiant's top tower well, what's the saying, E Sama, have mercy? Is, isn't that it? Yeah, something like that. There's no mercy this game, man. No, there is none. Oh, he did die once. Maybe that's the mercy. Well, yeah, but he took three people with him. <laughs> and it was a it was a literal 1v5. He went all guns blazing like... Oh, man. I guess when you have Max, Exart, Forge Spirits, and Necro 3 at less than 20 minutes in... On the medallion. It's really hard to not die to you. And I like is going to be in some trouble here bottom. He's got ulti in about four seconds. Here comes the pounce. Bump 7 coming to try to help. Really nice cogs. Actually stops Fear from getting more auto attacks off. Now he's going to be the one who actually goes down. Arteezy, he falls in. Beautiful song from Pylai Die. They're going to be able to treat. Maybe they even want to turn it around. Arteezy has some mana left. They're going to try to line up the sun strike. Ooh, he will be able to land it. He's out of mana, though. These guys are going to chase. Or yeah. as you say, these lads are chasing. Here we go, CM <laughs> going in with that Tranko Boots. Nova's going to clip. Earn's going to be on top. Arteezy has one more zip, but this AEI 2007, he moving fast. <laughs> Bone 7 with the rocket secure. And they're going to be able to get a quick tier 1 out of this, too. Radiant's bottom tower Cloud 9 are just playing. I, I'm going to say, man, they're playing good. They are. Playing Radiant's real good. Bottom tower and and RT, or Envy's got a play mail. Is this a AC invoker? It could be AC. could be uh, Shiva's. I'm kind of leaning towards AC, though, just Look, because of the build that he's been push. going. If you just show me that yeah. item 6, the 6 icons, I'm going to say he's playing Lycan. Yeah. Because yeah. this is it, not that's an Lycan. invoker build yeah. right now. Man, this is impressive stuff. It's working out though, very, very well. Yeah. Top and they lane. win these little team fights, they can push so uh, hard. Zai? Zai? He's Grant. He's really lucky that Bone 7 didn't have Hook, because he would have very been very not fine in that situation. Yeah. Universe has got Blink. They're baiting this out quite nicely. I don't think they see Bone 7. Now they will as soon as he goes in. The Hook and the Lasso come out pretty much at the Sun same time. The Sun Strike and the poor Bane inside the Cogs. Universe now trying to make his escape. He's going to casually fly off the map. Spend some time in the mountains, maybe become a lumberjack. Who knows? Or Buddhist. Yeah. We just live in the mountains? I don't know. Uh, they I don't know. I don't we know. know if we they don't do even have mountains in Ireland, like. Yeah, that's true. You guys don't have mountains. Well, we, they're miles away. No one ever goes. They're there. like hills. Yeah. Right. Like big hills. I've heard of them before. Read about them in books. The hills? No mountains. Radiant's top right. tower is Seen under the movies attack. Mainly. Arteezy just loses half of his health. They're going to be pushing top. Over here. Sing is up here with the rest of Cloud9. Applying pressure to EG. Invoker's on the way with the Necro Book as well. Yeah, he's... A powerful man. <laughs> it's pretty scary. Max level and Vulcan, the next level as well. 20 yeah, minutes. But he hasn't gone for Aghanim, so... It's not necessarily like an Invoker is going to be using Radiant a lot of spells, but you can bet that he's still going to do a lot of damage, because I mean, really all he needs to do is invoke Cold Snap. This is the best three spell invoker I've seen in a while. What happens if he invokes Alacrity? Does he just like win the game <laughs> with damage? <laughs> Maybe. Give it the thing. Top tower has I, mean, I think he's give it to himself. I think he's oh, right Oh, nice mirror image there from Highlight Die. Oh. Dodges the initiation coming out from the universe. And another Sun Strike. He just kills PPD. The poor, poor snake man. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Right off to the right side of the tier two, top lane. I mean, is it biased if I start chanting an MVP? No, I mean, he's he deserves it, man. He played he's played a really good game. Yeah. I mean, as much as people are really polarized about their opinions on Envy, you can't say that he's played bad this game. He went for the super greed build, and it worked out for him. Like that yeah. takes balls. Yeah, I gotta say, I was um, I was a bit skeptical about that. <laughs> the one GG branch. Or yeah, sorry. He, he walks to the oh, lane one with share tango. one share tango with no items at all. <laughs> and he's just like, ah, I'm gonna get a really quick You know pass. what, what I'll hate? Like, this is a very bad enabler for people in your next pub game. God, please don't do this in pub games. Text Invoker and be like, hey guys, full tango. Oh, he actually did go Shiva's. Shiva's, interesting. I thought he was gonna go for uh, AC, AC but... Yeah, for the right clicks. It is another method, though, Dyer's to make sure that you can keep people in range attack. for the rest of, like, your Forge Spirits and your Necronomicon and continue to do damage after yeah. Cold Snap is gone. And, and right now with the Shivas, what is that Slark going to do? Not a lot. The guy who Dyer's needs to get right-click for the stats, he's not attack. getting any right-clicks on. He's going to be a sad panda. My question is, do EG have a chance of turtling this and actually making some kind of a comeback? We're going to be able to get the Tier 1 safe lane, so that's something. Top tower but has is it more about if Cloud9 make mistakes? Is yeah, I, I think it's up to them, really. Yes. To... I think with the levels that Cloud9 level ha uh, the heroes are, if you get them a couple kills, like Ali's right here. Oh, take it back. 
Taking got an owie. Dropping quite low, and I will go down for staff. Firefly is going to be able to get the kill. Oh, oh seven finds fear, though. Oh, this is really nice. And now all of a sudden, there's going to be a Gale on Pylite Die. He threw out the ensnare. So I'm going to be popped. They want to re engage on this. The re is here. Yep. Here They're comes coming the in. Arteezy is not even coming to this fight, by the way. So it's just the three of them right now. PPD going to be the first one to go down. There will be a poison Nova before he dies. Sing turning around. Looks like he wants to try to raise, but unfortunately, he gets Nightmare. And Arteezy, in the meantime, is just pushing top this whole time. He doesn't really care too much. I actually think that's the correct move to not come to the fight. In fact, yeah. he, he pushed the wave. Dot, get oh, out of there. He pops the blade mail. Maybe it's it's a mad fight, kind of. Arteezy wants to go for the kill, though. Bone 7 actually going to be going down. He wants to try to TP He's and suck a long TP, TP though. He's got is he going to do it? Go on, is he going to do it? No, he's not going to do it. Well, Envy, you suck. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a hard on the fly <laughs> sunstrike. Now, if you see him TP, you always TP to the same spot in the yeah, wall. You do. You do. If you double tap, the, the, right? The bottom left corner. Yeah. yeah. If you double tap, you go to the same. Ah, area. it's the fastest as well. I, I noticed uh, something that Artiz he he never double taps when he TPs. I think. Really? Yeah. I nope. thought double tap TP was like super standard actually, because well, it's, I, I think it's a lot easier than having to click on the mini map. It's faster because you, know I mean? you don't have to click the mini map. Yeah. So he, he clicks the TP and then clicks. No, I, I take that mm -hmm. wow claim back. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> By accusation. <laughs> and the NB is going to be found in the river here. Orchid, lasso, flame break. A is going to be popped. He has one teammate behind him right now, and it's going to be Pylai Dai. No song, though. Hmm. I think I think Cloud9 just group up and just go mid at this point. Like, don't give away any kind of random kills here and there. Just take the game, because they are very, very far ahead. Yeah, 14,000. Yeah, they, they have the advantage, I guess you could say. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be putting a little bit lightly. Cloud9 have, uh, have a lead. They have a lead. And the funny part is, they haven't even killed all the other two towers yet. And yeah, it's still gold in the bank. Yeah, missed hook from Bone7, by the way. Fortunate. They try to go deep. They're going to find Universe with an ensnare. Orchid can be used on Pylai Die. PPD Gales on Alley. And Arteezy's just like, I don't want to be around here anymore. This is not my happy place. Flame break is going to do some damage. No Radiant's denial attempt coming out from EG. Looks like just a free tower for Cloud9. Top tower is yeah. under attack. I'm kind of worried for uh, EG now. I really am. Uh, I think Maybe that makes you were worried 20 minutes ago? No, but uh, they need to get a pick off. Or they need Cloud9 to kind of make mistakes, really, I guess, is the... Oh, interesting. Slark's, well, Slark's oh. going for these pick off. This is why I like the Shadow play. Like. Yeah. Soft, okay, then he's dead. maybe maybe this is why I don't like the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the, he's got his ulti still. All right, that's uh, Does he? Oh, lasso on Aoi. This poor crystal maiden man being pulled into the river. Artz ball. Oh. Oh. Yeah, not not even. That could have been big. Well, seven, seven is reengaged. Here comes Sing Sing on the back line. Here they want fear. They want everybody, but they're moving fast. Yeah, I don't think they can continue to pursue this. That was uh, an unfortunate turn of events for poor Aoi. He just got kind of eaten alive. He's kind of the only one they can kill though. Well, I mean, given that particular fight, there was no one really else that they needed to go on. I'm, I'm just saying because Aoi is so high level, he's level 13, which higher level than the Bat Rider. He's actually giving away quite a bit of experience. So, Rock it on. I don't think Eiji should sit you're, comfortably. You, you're throwing Aoi under the bus because he got lassoed. No, 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 no. I'm <laughs> saying Cloud9 as a team needs to win this game quickly yeah, because okay. I don't think Eiji is, is, is as out of it as this goal graph suggests. Yeah, the further you get ahead, the more you have to lose. Oh. Yeah. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Is that what you're saying? Is that, yeah. like an, is that an Irish thing? I think it's a world thing. <laughs> I think it's an everyone thing. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right about that, actually. Bone 7, going bottom. He's looking oh. for PPD. He's going to find him. Oh, oh, and rip. Splat. How did the Envy not get that kill with two forts to it, two Necrobook, and a Meteor on top? Bone Seven's like, ah, I got this. Why is the Venomancer running around with, one, like, nearly 2k gold? I don't know, man. Why not? Maybe he wants to buy Blink. Maybe he wants to blink and ulti. How else is he going to get into a team fight? That's a fair call. And if you have a blink, you can actually blink away from Song, too. As long as you're facing the right direction. Make sure when you buy blinks at home that if you're trying to blink out of a song, you blink the direction you're facing, not turn first, because sometimes you can actually get hit before you have your turn time and you can blink away. It's bad. Andy's tip of the day. Sage yeah. words for Mandy. Yeah. Man, you know how many times I've played Puck Radiance and I use phase shift and I don't attack. blink properly because I'm facing the wrong direction? Yeah. It's yeah. super frustrating. I, I had that problem earlier. It's super frustrating <laughs> when you do that, trust me. Oh, you had a problem with the level one game. Radiance bottom well. tower. Oh, he, had a, he had a problem with missing a coil or two as well. Uh, that was, I was on tilt. <laughs> he was on tilt. You never get mad though. No.
You were mad. I was pretty mad, yeah. <laughs> I hide her quite well. <laughs> it's alright, man. So what's Cloud Nine's ga game plan here? Are, are we grouping up and taking a tier two bot? I think they're doing the right thing by just being on EG's side of the map. I mean, really, EG would be hard pressed to take a team fight. I think at this point in time, even without an Aegis or anything. And let's be honest, the third Roshan's going to be spawning. And when that happens, there's going to be cheese, and then there's going to be an Aegis on top of that. So the next attack. Roshan that they get, I think, is going to be where they try to go high ground. Yeah. So. Until that point, if you just kind of asphyxiate EG by staying on their side and taking all the lanes, Whoa, taking their woods, making sure they can't find Radiant any farm, that's going to be to your fortified. benefit. And Phone 7 misses another hook. I think that was a good miss. Just, just I get don't know. I think it would have been fine to hit that. Yeah. Radiant's bottom tower has so fallen. The blink net from Naga as yeah, well. Yeah, Blink that'll... Naga, speaking of supports with Blink. Well, not even just Blink net, Blink Sing. Yeah. Blink in. Sing song and sing. People. Good man. It's real good. Oh, they're gonna need that blink sync for top lane right now. Envy being focused oh, very much so. There is a sing. There is a mag. Oh, Arteezy just balls into the song. Are they gonna focus on Arteezy? I don't know if they can. Well, nice call here. The right oh. click. Look at his HP just dropping. Meanwhile, on the back line, Zai is trying to do whatever he can. The right clicks are coming out. My god. Oh my god. Well, at least Arteezy survived. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Worth it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. You don't sound convinced. Owie. Owie, not again. Look. Owie, please. Wow, that is some serious crystal maiden hate. Oh, boy. Well, comes the in. You can see it's there. Owie was still it's alive that whole time. TPD, he's going to try to teleport out. Will succeed. Oh, Bone 7 hooks to his teammate. Bone 7, why? Why? Look, C9 well. is not making this win look pretty. If it's going to be a win at all, I'm not sure. Is he even a no? Well. I mean, I don't I'm know about sure. that. I mean, it's still yeah. like, In order to even out, I think EG would have to team wipe Cloud9 like three times. Okay. So Look, I've seen some Cloud9 like this. I don't know, man. But you never know. No, you're right. You never know. I mean, there there is an opportunity to come back, albeit, in my opinion, it's slim. It can happen. I will say that. I have Scotty on this Lark. Yeah, he's going for Basher as well. I like I think when you get up to Basher with I of Scotty, that's the territory where your Slark actually starts becoming a menace. Yeah. Although, again, with the right-click power of Steen 9, I'm not sure whether they care. Yeah, I think they can still kind of blow him up. Honestly, this RTZ. is like a Slark Butterfly game. Yeah, RTZ is not having a great time. Now found out that Envy has Hex. Spear goes in. He wants to try to find Envy, but it's definitely going to be in the snake. He even blinks inside of the cogs. It's just, they were, that poor Slark, man. He couldn't blink because there were so many, or he couldn't leap because there were so many people around him. He would have just leaped yeah. into them. It was really good. So about that Scotty, it <laughs> seems like uh, it's not enough. Suddenly Cloud9 seemed to be um, in a pretty dominant position, I would say. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah, it's just like out of nowhere. <laughs> hey man, I was just going with what you said earlier. They were eating it out. <laughs> you know? Oh, net on the universe. He's going to force that away. Pops the ghost to break the ensnare. But this is a uh, dead tower, no glyph. This is potentially just a Rax. Yeah, I think, I think it's it is. gonna be a Rax, unless yeah. we see some buyback coming out, which, by the way, there is none. Incoming! Yeah, that was a job in terms of slowing Radiant's it down. Middle tower yeah, has fallen. and then Alacrity happened, and then it was tough. Mm -hmm. kind of surprised, though. It kind of nullifies the feeble, the Alacrity. I like the lack of focus fire from the two characters. Yeah, they're both hitting different uh, Rax, nice and nice song, actually. That was very, very good. Oh, now they're going to try to go for the kill. Arteez is up in two seconds, though. They need to be careful about this. They immediately destroy Universe Hex on a PPD. And they committing so hard to this. And Arteez, he wants to go right on sync. Four steps is going to make him dodge the Meteor. Pops BKB, although it's a little bit too late. Will end up going down. Both seven to Blade Mill, but he's stuck inside of the base of EG. And it's a double for Arteez. Call to Cloud9 throw. Call it what you will. Two more team Why were they not hitting the same tracks? What the hell was that? Aoi now going to be going down, Orchid on top. Hey, guess what? Have a leap. Go Roshan's on, alive. Oh, how many team fights did you say, Andy? The three? So just two more. I just got that feeling, man. You know them Look, feels. When I threw RTZ, or sorry, when I threw AI under, under the bus, on the dying Crystal Maiden. You're going to throw him under the bus again? I'm saying they need to win the game in a, in a faster way. So you're way. saying if you play Dota, you need to win. Yes. That's some sick insight, bud. That's why I'm here, man. <laughs> That's why we pay you the big bucks. They need a win and win soon. <laughs> Jeez. Are they in a rush? I uh, think you're more concerned about them winning quickly because you, you want to make sure they don't throw. Yes. It doesn't have anything to do with your team composition. It's just please win so you don't throw the game.
Isn't it EG that usually Dyer's throw? Structures EG are had the curse for a long time, yeah. yeah. But it's, they seem Dyer's to have broken it lately. Tower is under okay. attack. This game, they've kind of just been behind. It's it's hard to throw a game that you weren't winning in the first place. But I think if they can manage Dyer's to do that one or two more times, they could potentially attack. be in territory where they could be considered at least even with Cloud9. And then they could throw? But it's tough. Yeah, and then they could throw. Yeah. Oh, bottom. Bone 7. He finds Zai. Oh, the horse step. Double horse step. He's in the river. Okay, Dragon and, Mark. Yeah, lasso on There's both hook in two seconds, though. He oh, couldn't. Oh, no. Get him! <laughs> well played. Well played. Oh, oh another horse step. What the He's going to die himself. Oh, nope, never okay. mind. Pilot die gets the riptide. Nice. Nice. That, that was, was like a ping pong ball just yeah. going in there. He's like, where am I? Uh oh. BPD. Not having a great time. Okay, Dyer's that's the road on. That's a meatball. To the tits. You know, I'm very surprised that uh, EG just didn't go for fallen. the juggler at Roshan when, when they just got that four kill. They might not have, like, they might have thought they didn't have enough time. You know what I mean? There's still tier twos and tier one bottom and a tier two mid. But Dyer's they were dead for such a long time. In particular, attack. Sing Sing as well as they. Uh, yeah, they, they might have been able to do it. But does their team rush that fast? I don't think it does. It depends on how much damage Fear had at that point in terms of right clicks. Orchid as well. Yeah. Uh, Arteezy's just casually in their base, by the way. He just balled into the trees and teleported yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. All right, this G's on they just to... to the I mean, he's going to take both, I'd say. He's like, I want I it all. Just... He's leaving the cheese there. Give it for some cheese. Not a fan of cheese. Love cheese. So do I. You know I love cheese. Cheese and burgers. That's all you eat. It's fucking awesome. I don't, I don't know, man. I actually don't have any burgers. How do you poop when you eat just that? Uh, years of practice. Years of practice. That can't be good, man. No, it was rough for a while, but I've gotten used to it. I, I hope so, man. I hope so. <laughs> By the way, AI is going for Lincoln, so he could be uh, less. He's the greediest Crystal Maiden I've ever seen. No, he's going to Lincoln's the invoker or that stuff. He's yeah. not going to keep it for himself. Yeah, of course he is. He's like, I'm Crystal Maiden, I'm Ultian. Fuck you, Batrider. <laughs> It could be a thing, I guess, unless you consider things like flame break, which is pretty easy to interrupt CMLT with. It's pretty hard. You have to aim the skill. I'm just saying. It's a skill shot. NB is uh, looking for a potential fake here. Uh oh. NB, please no. There is no detection down. Side of EG, so they're not going to know what the deal is. Please, he's quite fast as well. Yeah, well, he's got a haste. Yeah. All right. It's a thing. Is it? It is. Well, well, if it wasn't before, it is now. That's what we're saying. Cloud9 now aggressively positioned here. Who ended up picking up the cheese? They left it there. The it's... courier had the cheese last time I checked. Okay, and the courier is actually just sitting in the base. Cool. They're so they're not even gonna take the cheese. Uh, you know right. you can sell the cheese for 500 gold, for those yep. that you're wondering. Radiant yes, you hey, look, they're still hitting a different rack. Huh. What the fuck? Maybe it's more of a kind of... Oh no, Arteezy could be potentially going down here. Universe blinks in, but he gets Shiva's before the lasso actually goes off. There's no fight happening just yet. Arteezy pops the BKB though. He wants to try to go in. He's gonna go on Envy first. And Arteezy just gets obliterated by right click damage. Oh man, the grip gets immediately cancelled. Now Zai in a lot of trouble. The CMLT was popped as well, and Arteezy is forced to buy back after going down to Envy. Balls back in. They get the Aegis, but really is it worth committing that hard for just a hero who's gonna respawn anyway? Fear wants to go in, misses the pounce. PPD gets a uh, ulti on just one. Pylai die. He pops the song. Regus. Is there going to be it's any the Regus. Regus? Yeah, it, it definitely is the Regus. The ice wall lands on both Fear and PPD. Both going to just die instantly. Universe goes in for a last ditch effort with his lasso. Arteezy wants to try to finish off Sig. Mantha's popped. BKB also popped on top of that. Midrax going down in the meantime. Gem on the ground. Arteezy just casually balling all of his mana away. Pipping around the place. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Trying to secure the MV kill. Uh, MV was dying to the poison. So, I mean, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, they get the racks. They lose uh, MV two times. But still worth it. Still has nearly 4k gold. Yeah. He's going for the Aghanims now, I guess. So he could. Good. Yeah, he could. What about you, Lumi? What would you get? What would I get? Right I now. would, I would, I would, I would kill the drone and just okay. call it a day. Yeah. So we're gonna That's get. What I get. Killing the throne isn't an item, Lumi. Me. That wasn't the question. Don't, don't politician the question. Just answer it, man. I would get a heart. Just call it a day. A heart. What about a BKB? They're focusing. Actually, if you look at Pilot Eye, Pilot Eye's going for a second Lincoln's. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's just, just gonna be a Lincoln yeah. spam on the invoker. On, on the MV, be like, guys. But they can all put on themselves and go up like the high ground together, all glowing blue. And just intimidate them. 
I would probably leave the game. Yeah. Because, you... see, the thing is, if the team gets to a point where it can buy five Lincolns <laughs> and use them all on each other, if you got big problems outside of the fact that the other team has five Lincolns. And they're not afraid to go, like, on your high ground. Yeah, for sure. You know, normally I'm rooting for, for Cloud9, but I, I think EG are fighting them. Well, I'm sure they have fight in them. The question is, is that fight going to win? I mean, they're not rolling over. They're trying to make something happen. They yeah. smoked up. They're going to go inside of the woods, potentially look for a pick. Oh. Bone 7, got a gal. He has a satanic. Yep. He's actually gone a very minimal damage build, to be honest. Yeah. He's made three fairly defensive items in a oh, blink. Bat Rider. Blink in, coming in from Sing. He does still have that Link in. He pops the BKB. Here comes the Requiem. Fear dropping to half almost immediately. First one to die is going to be Zai. Owie getting beaten down by our team. He put that BKB on Fear. He gets hexed up, dies straight away. Sing picking up a double kill. And the rest of EG forced to scatter. Universe going to retreat with that gem. And we already saw the TP out from Arteezy earlier. So committing heavily to a fight where you can only get a Crystal Maiden and you lose your core, or one of your cores, I should say, not great. Bone Seven casually picks up a Maelstrom because you gotta have lightning. Yeah. You just need it. Items as well. Oh my God. It's not. It's so not so when I said Ichi had more fight in them. Yeah. I meant it was when, a fight. Yeah. I mean, I, you weren't wrong. Yeah. It was just not a fight going in their favor. I was envisioning, uh, you know, C9 throwing a little harder. So the oh, at the point. Yeah, he is pretty darn close to it at this point. 24. And Adi doesn't have like him. But this is the time Radiant's of the game I know when I'm playing poker. I don't oh. know what item he's got. He doesn't necessarily need it. He just completely biffed that combo, by the way. It actually did any damage, and the deafening just completely missed. Mm. So, questionable, but hey, it doesn't really matter when you just have illusions everywhere. They're going to try to jump on Sing. Arteezy gets the pull, gets hookshot, though, by Bone 7. Here comes the song. PBD and RTZ both stuck inside of it. The rest of EG kind of sitting behind here. Now finally, the Swan's going to be teleporting into the action. In comes uh, Universe. Yeah, he's got the cheese. He's still working, though. He's going to be taking a ton of damage from this. Once it wears off, RTZ is Nightmare. Double, triple, four step on RTZ. He's back in his face on the high ground. Sing, though, he gets the kill on Zai. Link is going to be popped once again. He also gets PPD. I think this is very, very close to the end of the game. Fear, he's going to break that ensnare with a dark pack, trying to run away from Bone 7 and Pilot Eye. There's yeah. a blink too, though. Wow, nice blink by Pilot Eye. Stops the pops from getting him farther away. But there's the frost fight. Sentry drop gives Sing a triple. Looks like a third there we go. Choke. GG. Cloud9 take it. That was a really good game, actually. Some nice stone strikes from Envy. Dino yeah, there was um, a couple of points in the game where I thought EG could potentially take it, but I really didn't like the Shadow Blade like at all. Like, I actually I, think the Shadow Blade was fine. Oh, I totally disagree, like 100%. <laughs> like 8 million percent disagree. He was able to like get a lot of... He a lot? Shadow, he, he got Shadow one! Fiend. No, Shadow Fiend twice. Shadow Fiend twice. A lot of the initiate he got, he couldn't finish because it was a song.